What's going on Show Nation? It's Movie with Movie Gaming TV. Back at it again with another video and today's video is Hitting Tips 4.0. Now if you guys haven't seen Hitting Tips 3.0, I will link it at the end of the video in the little end screen that you guys see at the end of a YouTube video. You guys can click on it and watch it. I honestly think 3.0... And I've been making these videos for three, four years since MLB The Show 16. I've been making hitting tips videos. And I think the video I made 3.0 for MLB The Show 19 is the one of the best hitting tips video, if not the best hitting tips video I've ever made. So I will link that at the end of this video. If you like this video and you want more hitting tips, be sure to check that one out. So let me give you guys a little bit of my credentials here. This season, I'm currently at a 10 33 rating i'm hitting around 312 i feel like i'm one of the better hitters in all of mlb the show so i'm going to guide you guys in the right direction i don't care if you guys are at a 200 rating a 600 rating a 900 rating i just want to help you guys get better at the game nothing makes me happier as a content creator than when people come back and let me know that the hitting tips helped out so if you guys want to ever drop me a line just drop a comment follow me on twitter send me something on twitter Come by the stream, twitch.tv backslash movie gaming TV. I stream all the time, guys. All ranked seasons, high level, that kind of stuff. I highly suggest you guys get on Twitch if you haven't already. It's it's a lot of fun to watch people play MLB the show, and that's kind of where a lot of the community comes together. All right, so without further ado, let's get into hitting tips 4.0. All right, guys, so we're in the batting cages now. As I like to call them, we're in batting practice mode. We're going to be going up against Danny Duffy, and I'm going to be using Ronald Acuna Jr., one of my favorite players in Major League Baseball. Now, before we get started on the new tips, I'm going to go over and review a couple of the tips from 3.0, just so you guys are up to speed if this is your first video of mine that you guys have seen. Now, I like to start the PCI middle in. All right, I like to start the PCI middle in because not only do I want to take away the inside part of the strike zone, I also want to be able to re react to the middle pitches too. So just because I'm taking away this inside, I'm still in a good position to take away pitches in the middle. Pitches in the middle, you're obviously going to drive. But I don't want you to look at the PCI. I want you to watch the baseball as it comes in. That's the main thing that I want you guys to focus on is watching the baseball. You're going to start to move the PCI naturally to the ball and put the PCI pretty much right where you need to put it. But you need to watch the ball. That's very, very important. You'll start moving the PCI where you need to, to move it. But watching the ball is extremely, it's extremely important. That's what you need to be focused on. Don't look at the PCI itself. Look at the ball and then just move the PCI to the ball. That's really going to help you out. Those are two of the main things from Hitting Tips 3.0. So now we're going to get more in-depth, some in-depth tips on how to hit better, especially how to hit better on the, the higher levels. So <clears throat> one thing to keep in mind is a lot of people ask me, like, which pitch do I sit? Which pitch do I sit out of a pitch selection? Um, the most important, and you should always, almost always, in MLB The Show 19, there's a couple exceptions, but you should almost always sit fastball. You always want to sit fastball because it's the the pitch with the most velocity. And when you're looking for that pitch and you get that pitch, you want to be able to just crush fastballs. If you're behind on fastballs or the fastball is getting to you, it, you're just going to be a lot easier to pitch to. Now, Duffy, he does have a slider, but there are some pitchers in the game that don't have sliders. Uh, Vita Blue comes to mind. Uh, Nolan Ryan, he comes to mind as a pitcher that just they only have the four seam fastball, they only have the change up, and they usually have like a curveball, something like that. There's going to be such a differential in speed that if you're sitting fastball, you're still going to be able to catch up to those pitches. But if you go the other way and you sit on the off speed, you're not going to be able to catch up to the fastball. So you always want to sit fastball. And how do you tell if it's a fastball, a changeup, a slider, or a curveball? That's where you need to watch the pitcher's release point, okay? You need to watch the ball out of their hand. With a lot of practice, you can start to tell if the ball gets right out of their hand. I could tell there that it was going to be a curveball. Now, let me explain some things here. First of all, a fastball, when you throw it, you know, it's just going to be straight. Just looks like any natural throw. You can tell pretty quickly if it's going to be a fastball. 
a curveball, they're going to snap the wrist generally over the top. They're going to and it's pretty cool in the game because they actually do do this. They'll snap the wrist over the top and throw a curveball. If you see a slider, the way I was taught to throw a slider when I was pitching when I was younger, throw a slider kind of like a football. So it's not going to be that like two seam over the top. They throw a slider kind of like a football. So it's going to be that kind of an action and the ball's going to curve. And then a changeup, you might get fooled on some changeups versus a fastball because obviously you just throw it with three fingers instead of two, which decreases the velocity on the pitch. So that's really something that you guys need to focus on is the release point of the pitcher where he releases the ball. And as you get better and better and practice more and more, you're going to be able to start seeing the ball. It's like that time I read fastball like immediately out of his hand. I knew it was a fastball. And I was able to crush it. You're just going to see that more and more. Just focus on that release point and try to figure out what pitch it is about five feet or so. You know, just to five feet or so out of his hand. You're going to be able to tell. Not only are you going to tell what pitch it is as you get better and better. You're going to be able to tell where the location is. You're almost going to be able to see where, it, you know, if it's going to be low and inside or low and outside or high and inside or down the middle. You're going to start to get a feel for that. So I want you to guys, when he's getting set, relax your eyes and then focus focus in your eyes right on that release point and then just attack. Just attack the baseball, recognize the pitch, and crush it. Here's another tip that I don't use particularly myself a ton, but I know it can help some people out. I know sometimes if I'm just trying to shake it up, I really recommend you guys look at the release point, look at the arm action. But if that's not working for you, there's another timing trick that you guys can use, especially against somebody like Kershaw who has kind of a weirder, stranger release, you know, especially out of the stretch. And he does that thing with his foot um, <clears throat> that really tries to throw your timing off. Um, you can watch their front foot land. So just watch Duffy's front foot land. It doesn't matter what action a pitcher does. He has to land with his land foot. And once he lands, he's about to throw the ball. So it's, it's a, just a good pattern to get into of watching that front foot land because when you can watch that foot, front foot land, you're going to get your timing more on point. So let's watch this front foot land again here, and then you can just get ready to, bam, there it lands, and there's my timing. You know, I just smash it right back up the middle where you want to hit the ball a lot of the time because there's not going to be defenders there. So watch the pitcher's front foot land. So a lot of you guys, as you move from the wild card division, you're going to move from all-star, you're going to move to the hall of fame and even the legend difficulty. If you can get to the world series. Now the key to hitting on this is you really don't need to change up too much. All you really need to change up is when you swing, it's going to rely on you to have that pitch recognition that I've been talking to you guys about at the very beginning of the video. You're going to need to have better pitch recognition because you're going to want to start your swing early. You need it to self it's a ball or a strike as early as possible. If you guys have played Madden never, okay? If you, this is just a, a way I, I thought about notarizing this. If you guys have played Madden before and you're dropping back with the quarterback and let's say you're going to throw like a 15 or 20 foot pass and you start to press the button on the controller. If you just hit X, he doesn't just automatically put the ball out there. It takes a little while for him to go through the throwing animation and throw the ball. And it's the same thing in MLB The Show with someone's swing. It takes a little bit for that swing to go through. And you also need to press the button earlier. Like I said with the Madden throw, you know, it's not, you don't just wait on the ball to get to you and you click X. You need to start clicking X before the ball gets to you almost like a Madden throw. You need like one or two seconds to be early. Just practice, go into practice mode and put it on legend and just practice being early. Practice hitting the button as early as you can until you kind of start to get that feel of what I'm talking about. And that's really going to take your game to the next level. I'm talking that's going to take your game to a huge level. When you can play on legend, they pitch you inside and you can pull the ball. That's when you've really taken the next step. And now you're pretty much elite at hitting in MLB The Show 19. Like That's going to be a huge, huge step for you. Right on target with the timing. Sent the ball where it was pitched on the outside there. 
But I hope that tip helps out. I hope that tip makes sense. But that's what I think about. I was still early there. But just think of it like a Madden throw, guys. Like, it, it takes a little bit of time for him to load up. You don't want to be getting sacked by the quarterback when you're up at the plate. Crossing sports here. But you want to be able to, you know, get that animation through. Like, get your interior load early by hitting the button earlier. And that's how you're going to hit on the higher, le the higher levels and have good timing and hit home runs and all that kind of stuff. Is you just got to press the button earlier. It sounds very, really simple. It's it's one of those things you got to work on and you got to practice. Now with the PCI lowing in, okay? Like, so I'm telling you guys, like, putting the PCI right here, this magical spot of middle in. Now, there's a couple things I want to talk to you guys about. If you sometimes I find myself when I move it middle in that I accidentally will start to move it up. I'll move it over and I'll just be going through the game. And I'll start to move it up. If anything, be lower, okay? If anything, if you're not going to be right in the middle, err on the low side. And the reason I want you to do that is so you can get under the ball. The worst thing you can do is just be hitting the ball into the ground over and over again. You don't want to be hitting the ball into the ground. You So if you need to start a little bit lower because you keep moving the PCI up, you know, start a little bit lower. I'd still recommend that you start in the middle, but that's what I'm saying. That's just one thing I notice when I watch myself play sometimes is I'll be moving it over to the left and then I'll some for some reason I'll start to move it up a little bit and that's not good. Stay middle or be a little bit lower than that. Don't just move it up. That's not that's not good at all. Now the batter animation itself, the swing itself, <clears throat> I don't want you guys to focus on too much either. I want you guys to see that out of your peripheral vision. I still want you just to focus on the ball. And that's why it's important to practice with your players and conquests and stuff like that. P practice with the guys on your team. You know, look at different hitting views so you can kind of get the timing of your guys' swing down very early squared up. Practice with the guys on your team. Keep the batting stance in your peripheral. Focus on the ball. That's the main thing you should be focusing on no matter what. And understand that where your player's swing timing is, <clears throat> where their, their step is and that kind of thing, that's going to make you... A better hitter my last tip for you guys today um, I'm probably gonna use like an on-screen visual here but I want you guys to focus on hitting the lower inside half of the ball um, that's not necessary I mean you can try to ideally put your PCI on it but that's just something I want you to keep in mind when you're thinking about the ball I don't want you guys to get on top of the ball I don't want you guys to think about hitting up the bottom of the ball I want you to think about hitting that lower fourth on the inside part of the of the, the baseball depending on your hitter so if you're a right-handed hitter it'll be this one if you're a left-handed hitter it'll be that one just focus on that part of the ball um i just feel like that's a an advanced advanced irl hitting tip that actually helps me in the game and uh if you've never tried it out before give it a shot that's that is where you want to hit the ball in real life to get the most spin to get lift on your pitches. Definitely, definitely try that out. Focus on that. So you don't want to hit it like right in the center. You kind of want to hit it underneath and to the inside. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to do it for our video. I'm going to link Hitting Tips 3.0 on the end screen of this video so you guys will be able to click it. I also recommend another video that I have on my channel. I make all MLB The Show content, so if this video helped you out, be sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you get a little notification of when a new video goes live. If you guys could hit the like button, that would really, really help me out just to show your support on the video. Comment down in the comment section below if you guys have any questions or anything else that can help the community out f about hitting. Just drop that down there. It's a great discussion. Help somebody out. That's stuff I'd love to see on the channel. You know, use the comment section as almost like a forum for MLB The Show hitting. That would be fantastic if you guys did that. If you guys want to see me play live, and I highly suggest you guys watch top players play on Twitch. Watch them play. Watch where they put their PCI, you know. That stuff will help you out immensely, immensely. Come watch me play at twitch.tv backslash moviegamingtv. You guys can ask me questions. Almost 99% of the time, I'll give you an answer the best I can during the stream. I, there's no bad questions. You don't have to. I don't care if you're playing on all-star or veteran or anything i just want to help you out 
at getting better at the game. So come on through twitch.tv backslash movie gaming TV. If you guys have any other questions for me or anything like that, you can always follow me on Twitter at movie gaming TV. I hope this video helped you out guys. I love making these videos so much. I got to start thinking about what I'm going to do for hitting tips 5.0. I kind of have a plan for it. I'd like to bring on at this point. I'd like to almost bring on other top players in the game so they can promote their channels or what have you and have me guide them along as they give out some hitting tips we'll have to see how that goes i'm not sure i haven't really asked anybody if they want to do that if you do want to do that put that down in the comments below and uh I'll see, uh, we'll see if we can figure something out in regards to that i just think that'd be an, an awesome way to keep this series going more often we all can get better at hitting as we take little parts of everybody's game and just can we, we can apply that to our own games and get better at the game yeah i'm gonna have more videos coming out soon i'm gonna have a video on how to make the world series i think that's it's gonna be a video i've never tackled before in three or four years to make an mlb the show videos so i'm looking forward to doing that i have a new team affinities video out just check out the channel man there's tons of mlb the show content on there and yeah guys that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video peace